the abortion bans that we're seeing all over the world pop up, conversations about how we should restrict birth control, conversations about how nobody's having any children. All of this has to do with capitalism and the economy. The bottom line is that people who are not producing children are not producing worker bees, and that could have economic consequences, especially for the rich. So they are trying to ban contraceptives and abortion, and it is not going to work. Let's talk about why it won't work. Births are not just falling in the United States. Births are falling all over the world. Nobody is having kids. This Japanese politician said that women over the age of 30 should have their uh, uteruses removed. And he thinks that, that will help the birth rate because he does not understand how a uterus works. He does not understand how a woman works as he's clearly never met or interacted with one. And he also does not understand how fertility rates work. Oh my god. Anything except addressing the economic problems, right? Elon Musk was made fun of for saying that he thinks birth control and abortion are going to lead to the collapse of civilization, which is very well deserved because what Elon Musk actually means is that if poor people don't have children, that will negatively impact the lives of the rich and wealthy who depend upon us like mosquitoes. They feed upon us to survive. There are already countries that have tried this and it does not work. It does not work at all. It sometimes leads to a temporary increase in the number of births, which is what we're seeing right now in Texas. But let's take a look at Poland. In Poland, they decided to put a very restrictive abortion ban, including fetal abnormalities. So if your child has very serious abnormalities and the, the fetus is not really compatible with life, they still want you to carry it to term. And did this work? No, as you can see, it fell by 11%. The births fell by 11% because it doesn't work. The only thing that works or will ever work is addressing economic and social issues, like the fact that people cannot afford to eat. Like, I, I don't understand what you want. I can barely afford groceries, and now you want me to afford a baby. That's not happening, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like a friend of mine who wanted to have another child with her husband, but can't now, because the abortion ban in her state makes it too medically dangerous for her to conceive. And so what that means is that she wanted to have more children, but because of the medical issues that she has and the lack of assurance that doctors will not just let her bleed out on the table, that they'll save her life so she can be there for her other children, because of this, her husband got a vasectomy. So it's it's backfiring for a lot of people, right? Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. You can't just make people have children and expect that there will be no consequences. That is, um, th there's really no polite word to describe how foolish this is. I already knew I didn't want children because I have severe tocophobia. Um, the idea of being pregnant would quite literally cause like a mental health episode for me. So I feel um, that my, really my only option is permanent sterilization unless I'd like to deliver the baby that is the product of an assault someday because that could happen to me. So as a result of Trump's win, I decided to reaffirm what I already knew to be true about myself. It's not just my friends who are making reproductive health care decisions that would be different uh, had the election gone differently, but it's me because I just scheduled my consultation for a permanent sterilization so that I don't ever have to deal with an unintended pregnancy. Um, so yeah, have, have fun with that Republicans. I'm sorry that women and other people don't want to be like broodmares to produce worker bees for your broken and dysfunctional economy.